So which one of these scuba tanks actually has more air inside of it? This is the most typical scuba tank known as an aluminum 80. It's super common at dive shop rental fleets, resorts, and on dive boats. It's made out of aluminum. And when we say it's an aluminum 80, it means it has 80 cubic feet of air packed into it when filled to its working pressure of 3000 PSI, which is a pretty standard fill in the scuba industry. 3000 PSI is a lot. Now this is a low pressure 71. We also call it an LP, like an LP-71. It's made of steel. It's got a working fill pressure of 2,250, 2250. When you fill it to that, it's got 71 cubic feet of air in it. And that's what they mean by low pressure, the 2250. It's really just lower than the standard 3,000. Now, assuming they're both filled to their working pressure, 2250 in the 71 and 3000 in the 80, the 80 is gonna have more air in it. Now, let's say we fill them both to 3000. This one's already at 3000 and this one matches it at 3000. You're not supposed to do that, but it's very common. You walk in, they have a default setting of about 3000. Really common for this to happen. Some people do it on purpose anyways. That's another video. Oh, hello, you come to help? Little fact checker just showed up and wants to uh, be part of the video. We adopted her recently. She's a rescue between six and eight years old, and she is amazing. Okay, so if they're both filled to 3,000, the aluminum 80 is a full tank, it's got 80, but the low pressure over here has more pressure than its rating. So it now has about 92 cubic feet of air in it. That's a bit more than aluminum 80. Now you're probably wondering about this tank over here. Now this is a steel high pressure 80 as well. So when we say high pressure, it needs a higher pressure to reach its fill rating. So at 3,442 PSI, it has 80 cubic feet in it. So in order for it to be full, you have to have a higher pressure in it. Now, if it's also filled to 3,000, it has less than its fill volume. So if they're all filled to 3,000 PSI, this high pressure 80 only has about 70 cubic feet in it. So if they're all filled to 3,000, the low pressure has about 92, the 80 has 80, and the high pressure 80 down to about 70. So a common mistake among divers is to think a high pressure tank has more air in it and a low pressure has less. That is completely inaccurate. The high and low pressure refer to how much pressure it needs to reach its fill rating. So the high pressure needs a higher pressure to reach its fill rating and the low pressure needs a lower pressure to reach its fill rating. In the industry, we mean it's lower than 3,000 or higher than 3,000. But this one being the standard 3,000 PSI. But how much air is actually in when you bring it out to atmospheric is reached when its fill rating matches its volume. That volume that it's printed on the tank here is reached when it hits its fill rating. So anything more or less than that will be more or less actual volume. So let's pretend we had two 100 cubic foot tanks. One's a high pressure, one's a low pressure. The low pressure 100 cubic foot tank would have 100 cubic feet in it when filled to its rating. Let's say 2400, the lower pressure, very common. 2250, 2400, 2650, to whatever it's stamped on the tank. Whereas the high pressure is typically about 3442. 3442 PSI, if you fill it to 3442, it has 100 cubic feet of air in it. Let's talk about the pros and cons real quick. So why wouldn't everybody just want a low pressure tank? Ironically enough, the high pressure's actually smaller and tighter, and a lot of people like them for the size. Whereas a low pressure tend to be bigger, heavier tanks. So it kind of depends on what you're gonna be doing. Also, it's easier when you're traveling to get a good fill on a low pressure. So anything over its rating is gonna be bonus. You particularly have to consider the fact that many times the tanks will cool down and that pressure will drop a little bit once you actually get into the water. So a lot more forgiveness in a low pressure. Many places their compressors are preset. It's, it's not something they can change on the fly in every place or have somebody that can. You get 3,000 in a low pressure, you got extra. You get 3,000 in a high pressure, you're gonna be a little shy. Overfilling, or what's sometimes known as a cave fill, does come with risk. It's not just the tank, but you also have valve ratings, particularly on the burst discs. Many of them actually say it right near the top, what they're rated for. Not only are they not rated for that, you got burst disc issue, valves issue, and that's a whole other video. And finally, I know this drives many of you pro divers crazy, but most people watching are not pro divers or divers at all. So I'm a big fan of keeping it simple. That's why I say tank. Cylinder contains gas. Tanks contain a liquid, so I know that drives people crazy. Oh well. And the commercial folk out there will tell you these are called bottles. But for simplicity's sake, I like to just call them tanks. I hope that clears up the difference between low pressure and high pressure for some of you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Oh.